ASMR. Today we are doing my very first doll haul. <laughs> this does look like just an awful lot, but recently I had a few things on, on pre-order on Amazon that I had pre-ordered way back at Christmas, and a lot of it was just the release dates got pushed back a number of times for a couple of these items, and I ended up just uh, choosing to uh, ask for cancellation of those orders, and so those orders got, got canceled for those, uh, those items, and so I had <laughs> basically uh, credit to spend on Amazon and uh, I don't know if it was a spring sell or something else like that but a ton of their doll stuff was deeply discounted like 50% off or more so uh, I got a few things here and we're gonna take a look and see what we got boxes. Maybe it was like cells for Easter. Because a lot of these, these things in here usually cost a lot more. First up, something small, it was only a few dollars, is this cute top and pants set. So, got a little Roxy purse, some sunglasses, a pink headband, I love these headbands, uh, a purse with a pineapple on the end. So there's a, a couple of hair toys that have kind of fallen out, which is fine. And, but the outfit is really what I loved about this, so. Very cute. Roxy-inspired outfit. So, there's that. Next up. Surprise, House of Surprises snack bar. Uh, I've looked at this one a lot, um, mostly because I saw it in the store, and I just kind of looked at it each time I went, but was like, uh, I don't feel like spending 
that much money on it. So when it was on sale, I just went for it. So it's got a little doll in it, sunglasses, and a little snack stand, of course, and little chairs to sit them in, and ice creams. of the official house of surprises and a spot where you could potentially go in the house. I probably would never buy this house because I just don't want to spend that much money on just a doll house. Especially because I like building stuff and you can do a lot of really cool um, building and painting and things out of scrap cardboard and with how much stuff we get shipped nowadays if you always have cardboard you could build a really cool house. Um, and then if it gets beat up, once you're done with it, it's easy just to recycle it, so. She's very, very cute. Great sunglasses, little shoes. There's that. And then the biggest thing in this first box is a Barbie Extra. I, I love Barbie Extra. It is favorite line from Barbie, um, and this doll was discounted, like, usually these are like 25 bucks, but she was like, like five or six bucks. I don't know why, but, I, I mean, I think some people have complained about her, her strip of hair here, but... Cute she is right here, and she's got the poncho and a little hat for the bunny. Um, it's very Easter themed. I mean, it's not Easter. Well, part of the reason I love this was it has that late '60s, early '70s vibe to it um, between her her poncho and the outfit. And I absolutely love horror movies from that era. And I love their clothes that they wear in those movies, so that was like, yes, <laughs> please. And she's just gorgeous. Big old earrings, flower sunglasses. Great dress. That's, I really love Barbie extras. She's just, they're just my favorite. I have this one right here, and she's so great. This one is also super cute. Um, her theme is like cereal or whatever, so, uh, but she's, she's very popular, so it doesn't go on sale quite as much. This one was also super cute with the, the pink um, hair, so. I love this sparkly thing up here. Um, uh, I actually like managed to remove this from my previous Extra Dolls box and have it hanging up, so. <laughs> Look how cute she is. Okay. a lot of these specific dolls and Barbies and and things since I got into the hobby um, just because I like looking and when I saw these prices drop so far and I was just, and, and then I had the extra money from the things I just uh, canceled so I, and I'm being much happier with these things than <laughs> the video game orders for
little surprise movie magic doll. So it's one of those balls that you remove the wrapping and there's a one random doll inside. Um, I love surprise items. Uh, I got really into Magic the Gathering when I was like 19 or something. And I realized I much more preferred opening packs and seeing what I got to actually playing the game. <laughs> um, so I really like the Hello Surprise stuff. It's very fun. A lot of different cute series to them, so it's hard to not just want to rip it open and see who it is now. But, but look at that cute picture. Ten surprises. I originally had been looking at the, the all-star sports series with the, the sparkly basketball stars and cheerleaders and stuff. Um, but that one's newer, I think, and more popular. So that one uh, was not on sale. This one was, um, I think, 50, more than 50% off? I can't remember, because I'm not 100% sure what this one costs, usually. Then another one. But this one is the LOL Surprise Minis family. I love these mini dolls so much. I have a little coin purse um, attached to my actual purse. And I love having a mini doll in there uh, as like an emergency comfort item. So and it's it's becoming more people with neurodivergence and such to have a, a comfort item with them and is an actual thing that I, I consistently hear therapists telling their patients but this one has a whole little family in it got one of the normal mini dolls and then an even littler one that's like a little sister so you know the mini doll the little sister mini doll and then a pet so oh, I'm so excited that these ones have like all, all of the balls have sort of a, like a play set inside but the mini ones are like I think I think it's because I grew up with Mighty Max um, when Mighty Max was the spinoff of Polly Pocket and of course I really loved Polly loved my Mighty Max set because it was Frankenstein's lab and I love Frankenstein so I, I love these and I love what they have inside so I'm very excited to see what's in here so and I'll, I'll eventually be obviously doing ASMR unboxings of each of these over time um, I'll probably film them closer together but then space them out it's hard not to just like film straight through the entire day today <laughs> to open everything so oh, I'm so excited okay and then I something I was really happy about with all of this was that it's spring themed and it, it just was kind of fun to kind of like use that Christmas money that didn't end up going to those other things to kind of get like a spring surprise box for myself, for myself now. And that has been just really cool. And it was something I did back at Christmas, something that um, people have talked about in the mental health community about uh, maybe creating a stocking or put together like a little gift basket or something for yourself that speaks to some deeper part of yourself, whether that's your inner child or something that needs to be nurtured and cared for. So we did that back at, at Christmas with a stocking and 
it was just a really wonderful experience. And this just kind of feels like that, like a big spring um, haul of, of really cool stuff that really just brings joy. Um, and it probably means I won't get any new dolls for quite a long time, but that's how things go, and that's okay. So we have this hiking Barbie. Look how cute she is perfect for spring and summer. Um, they have all these cool spring and summer things coming out right now from Mattel. And I don't have this Barbie face sculpt. And she's just so gorgeous. And I'm just so happy Mattel is doing so many different body types and face sculpts. It's, it's really great. So she comes with backpack with a little doggy. She's got a blue hat and it's a different mold than any of the other hats I have. Um, she's got a camera. I really love the shirt she's wearing and of course the pink shorts and they will be really fun to interchange with the other Barbies. There is a map that is actually like plastic so sometimes Barbie will include accessories but they're just paper or cardboard but this is plastic map, and so it's really cute. Sunglasses, a flashlight, uh, some trail mix, a water bottle, and sunscreen. It's just, ugh. Oh. For only like, uh, like seven dollars. It's just it's a great little set. So, and there she is with her puppy. It's, she's so cute in the drawing. I just, I love keeping the artwork that they do of the Barbie in the box, if I can, because I really love seeing this kind of concept art of what this is, so. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, so, there's only one thing left, and it was maybe the thing I was most excited for, so. Barbie is my my main thing, my main doll collection is, is Barbie, and I love, I love her, and I love all the Barbies I have, and I kind of have dabbled a little bit in other ones. For instance, I have one Rainbow High doll that was um, like one of the lower uh, cost ones. I had, uh, and she was on Clarence because her box was damaged. Rainbow High doll. I have one not a not surprised doll because I liked the fact that it was soft um, on the outside. So, and um, I have one Monster High doll. And so that's kind of like a little bit of everything, except I, I well, I do have some of the, the, the little LOL dolls. Um, obviously, like I said, I don't have like a normal LOL doll. And so this is my first LOL doll. Here she is. She's so gorgeous. And she is part of the tweens line, of course, so that just means that the doll is a little bit shorter, which I prefer. Um, but look at her, she's amazing. I know I said I got the, uh, the Barbie Extra because of the like very spring slash 60s, 70s vibes, but Look at her, she's like that times a thousand. She's so perfect. She's got like the, the, the hair and the little go-go boots and the perfect jacket and sunflowers and... <sighs> it makes me wanna cry. She's so beautiful. <laughs> and her name is Goldie Twist and just amazing and I just I just love it I love this aesthetic she has just gorgeous um, we have her little sis on the side um, I don't know which series of the little spheres has this one in it 
but it would be really cool to have her to go with her but I don't know where you're supposed to get them so. but she's adorable and there's the other ones in the series with her I really love this one too because her coloring is kind of like the uh, you can't tell it here but the doll her coloring is like the trans Makes me happy. But yeah. Oh, she's gorgeous. Looks like she just stepped off the set of a, a 60s or 70s hammer movie. And she has 15 surprises that are all hidden in here. And I know that the previous series of tweens had a cardboard playset so that their little box could turn into a playset. I don't know if that's the case with this one or not, but we're gonna find out when I open her. So there you go. That is my big first doll unboxing haul. Um, might be my one, only one ever. <laughs> Just depending. Uh, and thanks for watching and being here with me.